like Caddy, nigga, watch me be disgusting. I'ma do them dirty like a wing worm ring. Why they be talking like they might know something? I met a guest star on royalty like Lima King. It's the Stash tutorials, you know. Today, I got a brand new series that I'm starring. It's the Everything Cole Bennett slash Lyrical Lemonade does in his videos tutorial. He does a lot of cool effects. If you don't know Cole Bennett, Lyrical Lemonade, one of the, I would say, newest to music video pioneers in editing and making music videos. He's pretty cool. A lot of his music videos got, like, a crazy amount of views. He does a lot of music videos for a lot of artists, you know. Um, so I decided why not make tutorials on what he does, right? So today I got his ghosting effect that he does, and he did it in his latest two videos for, his, for Cap G and Ski Mask. Uh, I have both ways he did it. I would say Ski Mask is easier, even though Cap G may be easier if you have a green screen. So if you have a green screen and, and want to do the Cap G one, it'll be easier. But if you don't, it's going to be very time in, uh, inducive and will be a lot, a lot of work. But anyways, with that being said, hope you like the tutorial. Leave a like, subscribe, comment. It really helps me out, really motivates me to do more videos. And yeah, hope you guys like the new series I'm, I'm going to start doing. Anyways, got a plug in my self I store, everything I have, every editing pack I have, my editing pack, any video you guys want, I'll help you out with it. Please check it out. It'll be in the description. Thank you again. Alright, so talk to you guys later. Peace out. Okay, so we're going to do the easy one, which is the one he did for Ski Mask right here. Um, what he did here is he masked out his do-rag, right? He masked out his do-rag, and then he duplicated it two times and he moved it to the side with this one having more opacity and this one having less opacity now it looks to me that he had this one on top but um i'll show you my own way i like to do it so i have my clip right here right now you're gonna want to you're gonna want to have a clip that where the subject you want to mask out doesn't move a lot because if it does then you're gonna have a hard time to do that like if you saw the hard way in the preview, the Cap G one, um, he he had a green screen, so it was easier. But I'm gonna show you how to do that anyway. But for this one, it's since the easy one. So since this is the easy one, you're gonna want to have a subject that doesn't move a lot. And the only way this my subject moves is because the camera moves. So it won't be that difficult. So first thing you want to do is you want to have your clip, and I cut mine down, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So you have your clip, right? click to this pan and crop button click mask and we're basically going to mask this my subject out right so I'm going to do a crude mask I suggest if you want it to look good take your time and get every single detail or else it will not look good at all especially his hair his hair is going to be horrendous because I do not want to take the time to do that or else this tutorial will be forever so I have my mask right this is how he looks you know pretty crude pretty horrible because it's all the sharp edges and stuff so just to do a little due dil diligence and uh, get the sharp edges out I'm gonna go to feather type right here click in and then I'm gonna just make that about Actually, I'm going to click out, or maybe both. I'm going to click out and make it a 0.6. Now, I suggest you just mess with the settings because everyone's video is going to be different. So, here, let me delete this mask. So, and move this to the, so this is the first keyframe, right? The beginning of the clip, I have this keyframe with a 0.6 feather type. All right, and that's how it looks. Now, you see he moves out of the mask. So to fix that is throughout the video, we're going to go through first frame, go, let's go like five frames, and then we're going to click this normal edit tool, and then that will come up, and then I use my arrow keys on my keyboard, let me click inside here, I, I use my arrow keys on my keyboard, and just kind of move the mask. Um, you see it's still kind of gross, so to fix that up a little bit, I'm going to use this little split tangent tool, I'm going to hold control on my keyboard I'm gonna click I'm gonna click one hold control on my keyboard and just move that and then you want to click into these individual ones and then clean them up 
Now I'm just gonna do this real quick, as in not that good, but you guys get the drift. Try to make it as clean as possible and as close to him as possible. Remember to also feather, it will help you a lot. So if I go here, let me click this feather, it'll help you a lot. Let me put more feather on it. And then one, two, three, four, five. And then I could right click on here, select all, and then just move my with my arrow keys a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Click here. Move my arrow keys. Click this split tangent tool. Click one point, hold control, move it. One point, hold control, and moving it. There we go. Uh, there's something right here. It's like god awful. Cool. One, two, three, four, five. This tool, select all with my arrow keys. One, two, three, four, five. To the end of the video, move with my arrow keys one more time. And basically, I have this if you put it right. It's pretty decent. If you want it to be perfect, then you'd have to go through every every frame and adjust the points. So this, I have to adjust it. One more frame, I'd have to adjust it. But since I don't want it to be that long, I'm just going to use this. So here's our starting clip, right? Okay, so next one, the next thing we want to do is go to the timeline, right click, insert new video track. Now we want to go to this clip, click it, hold control on our keyboard, drag and click it and drag it up on top of it. Now, now we have two of the separate clips, right? Now we have this clip. We're going to do a event pan and crop. Go to the first position on it. And then we're gonna, I'm going to move it to the right. So I'm going to press left on my keyboard. And it'll look like this. Now that looks pretty decent. I'd, for what I'm doing. Now the next thing you want to do is do you want to duplicate it again? Because he did it three times. Go to the timeline, insert video track. Click this, hold control, move it up. Event pan crop again. Go to the first keyframe and then move this a little bit to the left or to the right again using the left arrow. And now you have this. Now you have kind of like some people like this effect. I think it's pretty cool. But now we're missing the background. So what we want to do is go up to the bottom layer again. Click right click on it click insert video track move the bottom layer you had to the top now while it's still clicked hold control and move it down now go back to go back to event pan crop and uncheck this mask now we have pretty much this right but that's not what the effect he did the effect he did it kind of it started as a hole and then it progressively got thinner so what we want to do is so we have this our top clip right is the most outward one so that's the most light one we want so I'm gonna move this to opacity about 39% right now you can see he got lighter now the second one right the second clip we have is the second most light one he had right so we're gonna want to move this to about say 70 percent 68 percent now we have this effect and that's pretty much what he did now but I kind of don't like this effect it looks for me I like to do it my own way and that is to have as in like the person we see with the hundred percent opacity on top of these two so what I like to do is I'd like to right click a new video track insert Control this, control, hold control down, and drag this up again. Now you see this got this, um, the most end one got darker because we, it's at the same position. So what I want to do is go to position, right, and then go press default again, and then we'll have a default one, the original, which is at thirty eight percent opacity. That's why it looks like that. So move this up to a hundred percent opacity, and there you go. That's why it looks like that. Okay. 
and that's my way of doing it and that's how it looks now obviously you can kind of see some stuff right here um, that's just me being lazy and I didn't do everything so if you want it to look better then go through every keyframe and mask it out but that's basically the ski mask way he did it and I think it looks like you can also move this more to the side and I think it look better but that's pretty much it all right cool peace out later all right so we got the first part down the part with ski mask now we have the cap G part which is this part right so let me rewind this a little bit not that part this part right here so he kind of had like a ghost effect where they kind of followed him now it's kind of the same thing so he, this is the original layer right here the second one this third one and they kind of did the same thing as the first part where they gradually got lighter now it's kind of the same thing but it's not really so cap so what Cole Bennett did is he didn't mask out this video he has a green screen right and he had cap G stand in front of it so this was way easier for him to do so he had if I I would suggest having you um, if you're planning on doing this go in front of a green screen or something um, but I'll show you it's just way harder if you don't do it with the green screen I'll show you how to do it so say so I have my boy filthy Frank right here right because it's the only green screen I like I was like oh I'd be going anyways so if you have a green screen it'll be way easier I'll show you but if, if you don't have a green screen I'll just tell you real quick you're going to have to click pan and crop go to mask and then since he's moving a lot since you want it to be moving a lot right because it's a video you're gonna have to mask out every single movement so this first keyframe his hand I'm gonna have to mask that out but this is only if you don't have a green screen video right you're gonna have to go a little bit forward you're gonna have to mask this part out and obviously I'm doing a really crude drawing but you're gonna have to mask all of this out and you're gonna have to, you're gonna want it to be perfect because if it's not perfect um, it just won't look bad but that's why that's why I say it it's kind of harder to do it's way harder to do it it's more tedious and time-consuming if you don't have a green screen but since we have a green screen I'm gonna do it the way Cole Bennett did it so if you once you mask all this out um, go back or start masking it out right now mask it out come back to this tutorial and it's pretty much the same thing okay so if you have a green screen like Cole Bennett did and like I, I do right now it's kind of simple so you have a green screen right to get the green part about go to chroma key C H R O M A chroma keyer drag the default on there click the color click this little eyedrop tool go over here click the green part boom instantly masked out right <laughs> whatever he's saying I don't have the audio but yeah so instantly masked out and what he did is he didn't move it to the side like he did with ski he kind of played it after it if that made sense but with a lighter with a lighter opacity so what you want to do is you want to have the layer you want on the top layer right now I have all these other layers down here as in tracks down here because of the one we did before so if you don't know how to make a new track just right click the timeline insert new video track right but you want to make sure the layer with the opacity you want to be on top and this is the one you want to be first so you want what you want to do is click this layer hold control down drag it down and that's basically it you're going to make the opacity about let's say 74 70 percent uh, but if you look at it there's nothing so what he did is he went like let's say 10 to 20 frames so I'm gonna click this 10 I'm gonna click this 15 times right and I'm gonna grab the bottom layer and move it about 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 15 14 15 move it 15 frames and then I'm gonna do it one more time so I'm gonna duplicate this bottom layer 
from the start of the bottom layer, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 15 should be 60, right? And then start this again, make this about 30%. Now this is, now you can, here, I'll just play for you. And that's basically what he did. He did it kind of not about 15 frames. I'm going to do like 7 frames. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, yeah, he did it more like that. He did it more about like 7 frames. And that's basically what he did. Um, he did it with the green screen and everything. Now, you have this black background. So, since all these are chroma keyed and there's empty space, so. You can see these two, right? Because there's empty space, so we only have 50 frank. There's empty space, so when this guy comes up, we can see him, right? Same thing for this guy. There's empty space on this layer, so we can see the third guy, right, come up. Same thing for the third layer. There's empty space. Everything around him is empty space, so what he likes to do is he likes to um, put backgrounds in it. I have a lot of backgrounds. Um, just go to media generators. You don't have to find any. But you can look up on YouTube underlays or overlays, and they'll like have a lot of backgrounds. But I have a lot of media gener me uh, media gener generator backgrounds. Dang, can't talk today. And they'll do just fine, you know. So it's pretty much what he does. So here, let me make sure it starts on the top layer, which is right here. And that's basically what he do, what he does for his ghosting effect. All right, hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like and comment, and tell me any tips you got or any other ideas for him. I'm gonna start this new series of just everything Cole Bennett does or Lyrical Lemonade does, because I feel like he's um, a very pioneer in the music video editing ways. But anyways, all right, cool. Peace out. Thank you. Uh, check out my self I store if you need any help with anything or if you want to buy anything from me or if you want to buy any any of my editing packs or anything I have collected over the years. Check out my self I store. Pretty cheap. And I'll edit a video for you. Blah, blah, blah. All right, cool. Peace out later.